I feel like it's EK spirit that's making me to cough that but hold on. Hey y'all, Chantel here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining today. Please subscribe, also turn on your bell icon so you're notified each time I post new content on here. Alright, thank you. tell from the title of this video i'm going to be roasting or praising wedding guests at the just concluded celebrity wedding of the year the one of rita dominic and fidelis anosike that took place on tuesday the 19th of april 2022 I was here for it. This was me on social media that day. I feel like this meme was meant for me and I take it with my full chest because I was hopping from one celebrity's page to another to see what they were wearing, to see what was going on, to watch a lot of BTS just to experience the whole occasion in simple terms. So yeah, I am happy I did that because the fashion side of it, I have something to talk about. I have something to say. Though unsolicited, I will still tell you, even though I will still tell you. <laughs> I am the unofficial self-appointed fashion police and I'm here for it. Yes. I have my notes here, my pictures in my phone and my mouth to roast or praise where it is deserved. If there's something you're yet to know about Nigerians, it's the fact that we bring it when it comes to fashion. Nigerians don't play. We bring it sizzling hot every damn time. You can't catch us on our way. So this wedding was no different. And I love the fact that a lot of Nollywood stars showed up for her, the OG Nollywood people. I was smiling all through just seeing all of them come together for this joyous occasion. And I can't wait to show you all what they were looking like. So let me pour myself a glass of wine because this video is about to be hot. So that can be sipping it while save my mind <laughs> i'm sure a lot of people will not agree with this video but i mean it's my channel and i can do and say what i feel like <laughs> just joking i'm just joking it's all jokes but yeah it's fashion police we are not all unapologetic on fashion police here on chantel i am on channel <laughs> The first person I'll be talking about is the bride, obviously, Rita Dominic. She looked so good. Her two outfits were designed by Tubo. Her first outfit, I love so much. Looking at that, I just feel like I got an inspiration for my wedding outfit. And long dress for me now, when it comes to my first outfit, I have thrown into the dustbin because I am not doing all of that again. She looked so comfortable. She looked so classy. She looked so beautiful. I loved the beads around her waist. You guys can see the picture here. The beads on her waist. The beads on her neck the hair the slippers the beads on her ankle everything was just mwah, top notch for me and i'm here for it even though corsets are generally uncomfortable she looked quite comfortable and i feel like it's the tubo magic i love tubo's designs a lot i feel like she's just an amazing designer altogether for the second outfit i feel like the style was not I don't know. I feel like the style did not really bring out the fabric. That's just my opinion. It wasn't bad anyways. It was quite mature. One thing though I love about that second outfit where the coral beads details on them. It looked really rich. The style I have a problem with but every other thing was amazing. Top notch. I'm going to give her 100 over 100 because it was her day and I'm not a hater. <laughs> Yeah, so the second person on my list is Choma Akwatha, formerly known as Choma Chukuka. For me, she's just a free spirit. I love her so much. I'm following her on Instagram. I love watching her stories. She just, she's very relatable. Yeah, I love her look. I feel like it was generally appropriate. She brought it hot, hot. I love the crossback detailing. I love the corset. I feel like a lot was going on underneath, but I'm not mad at it. She really brought it. Like I said, Nigerians, we know how to bring it. We are extra when it comes to weddings and outfits in general so she's she's representing us well i love how she styled her gilly love the accessories she looked so pretty i loved her makeup so well watching her stories i was just seeing it in real time and it gave me a lot of joy she was styled by um becca needles and stitches and i think they did a very very good job she looks so so nice and well put together she looks like a rich auntie that she is <laughs> in yedo her dress was designed by extra bright lagos for me it was unexpected when it came to her outfit because i felt like she was going to give us <clears throat> I felt like she was going to give us like um bodycon look with all her teeth hanging out everything looking pink and stuff but she gave us a more mature look and i'm here for it i love her style so much i love the sleeves the exaggerated sleeves i love how her gile was styled i love her accessories gold sandal gold earrings very simple and classy giving me 
money i really love how it looks i love i love that she looks really modest and stylish like nothing was showing she looks really really good and she has a banging body so yeah anything she wears looks good regardless the first person is insert pair etim i'm sorry if i mispronounced her name i feel like she looked so simple but i will attribute that to the fact that she's one of rita dominic's bff so she didn't have time for herself she didn't give her dress to the tailor on time she was looking out for her best friend and yeah she just wore something simple a trouser and um, tube top it was made by lady b lonier underscore luxury on instagram yeah that's the designer of her dress it looks simple just there i don't understand the capture but yeah it, 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 it was not so special but it was okay it was okay we'll just manage it <laughs> next is michelle dede also one of rita dominic's pff Inse and michelle call themselves co-wives so i'm guessing rita dominic is the husband and they are both her best friend i might be wrong i don't know but michelle i love her look i love the creativity i love that they use their showcase to make her top it looked really good obviously i wasn't expecting less because it was designed by maya tafu so I mean, it's my attack for what else was I expecting? She looked really good. I love the detail on her bag. I love the cap. I would have preferred the cap to be maybe plain black, but this one is not bad too. She looked really, really good. I love that she was one of the maidens and she later changed to this. Just shows that she was there for her friend and it was such a cute sight to see. Next on my list is Uche Jumbo. Uche Jumbo is an OG in the Nollywood game. You all know her. Her waist is snatched. Her dress is snatched. Her dress was designed by Larry Das Larry Da Silva Ajayi. Yes, she looked really good. I love the style. Very simple. I love the ruching around the tummy area. It gave it another vibe. It looked really, really good. Although, I feel like the extra details on the shoulder was not needed. It would have just been a simple dress and looked really nice. Yeah, it's okay. Nothing extraordinary for me, but it was okay. It was okay. I love how they arranged the details on the fabric so all of these people i have mentioned i've praised them i've not roasted them we're coming don't worry the roast is about to be hot <laughs> the next person is susan peters i think that her dress was okay but her gilly i'm not understanding what is going on here it's 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 supposed to be stylish but it's not bringing style for me it's bringing tackiness for me you get what i mean i don't understand this thing self that is on the shoulder of the top is style but it's not working for me i don't i don't really get it but overall she looks good i love the mesh i actually feel like the breast cup on the corset is a bit small for her but yeah she does she doesn't look bad she doesn't look bad at all just looking at it it's simple and nice Susan Peter's outfit was designed by good girl code not bad at all. Ibube Wabo's dress was expected. This is what I expected to see on Ibube Wabo. She has the body, so she might as well show it off. She's wearing this long dress with a long slit. And uh, yeah, she looks beautiful. I love it. Although I don't love that sleeve. That sleeve looks like dry plants that are waiting to fall. But it's all fashion. All not fashion. She looks good. I love her gele. She looks good. She doesn't look bad at all. Yeah yeah ebube's outfit was designed by three and four fashion next is uche elendu uche's outfit was designed by three O, and a lot is going on on this outfit i will not lie what's the hand is here these chains are down there there's stone everywhere i know that this fabric is quite simple i need to put a lot of accessories to bring it out but this was doing too much in my opinion although she looks good she doesn't look bad the fish tail, the slits, everything is going on, on with this dress. Well, that's just how most Nigerians like to do it. <laughs> the next person is Hilda Dokubo. I think she looked so good. She looks like a glamour. She looked so good. Very age appropriate. I love the corset detail, even though it's not so tight. I love the show back. I love her gilly. And she was feeling herself. I'm here for it. She was really feeling herself. I watched a video on her page that she did on TikTok. It was so beautiful. I was just smiling all through. She looked amazing. She looked exquisite. Hilda Dokubo did not give us details on who made her dress. 
mommy, why did you not give us now? We would have been able to patronize the person. But yeah, she looked really good. Rex is Jocket Silva. She looked nice, although there's no full look of her outfit. The outfit was designed by Larry Da Silva as well. Same person that designed Uche Jumbo's outfit. She looked good. I love her bag. I love her jewelry. I love the neckline. She looked very good. This is how my mom would dress. Like She looked very mommy, well put together, everything covered, very classy, very modest. I love how she looks. I love her gilly. The makeup was so good. I don't know who did her makeup, but whoever that is did a very good job. She looked really, really good. Lillian back. Ooh, she looks really good. Aside the Ashray B, she looks really good. Her skin is popping. She looks amazing. Like I, I can remember watching her years ago. I think I was still in secondary school. And she looks she still looks as good as she she looked back then. For the Ashray B, her style was okay, just simple. She just opted for something simple, mono strap. I love the belt detail on the sleeve. I love the mesh. Although Hagile is it's not it's not sitting right in my opinion, but every other thing looks good. Makeup is looking fresh. She looks she looks nice. The women really brought it for this wedding. The designer of her dress is LDD. Next is Shan George. Oof. okay i want to love this outfit but then again this um what they call this thing uh peplum detail was not needed she would have just done a straight dress without the peplum detail and it would have looked really good the peplum detail i have a problem with so i'm not i don't know what to say about this i have a problem with it but you know i'm torn between hating it and loving it it's a it's a good fit on her i love the style i love the idea behind it but that peplum just bought everything maybe she was trying to hide her tummy area but flaunt it if you got it just use a good shape where i Everything will be sorted. I love how they arranged the fabric though. I love the stones in front and um, Yeah, but that peplum I have a problem with. Hagele looked nice though. Her designer is Chanel Hot Cotton. That's the person that did that dress. We're moving to Queen Wokoye. Also a Nollywood OG. See uh, with this Queen's look, I think that the designer just told her, Madam I could make you look hot. It will look so good because this wedding you are going to is the wedding of the year. So maybe I feel enter Bella Ninja. So she just decided to put all the details from peplum to to the thin cape on the neck to her corset to stones to threads. Everything was just there. Like she ended up not bringing it. Although you brought it to Chantel Anyangu's channel, even though that's a far cry from Bella Niger, but at least you're somewhere, you're here. I don't understand. The hair was not working as well. She would have tied her gile. Even if she wasn't tying her gile, maybe put her hair um, in a bun. It would have looked better. Everything about this outfit, I was not understanding. Her look has got to be my least favorite. I can't even lie. I can't even sugarcoat it at this point. It looks, it, it doesn't look good at all. She just made this fabric. Her tailor, not her though. <laughs> her tailor just kill this fabric what is the two-tone design one has plain one has stones one hand has that um dangling thing the other hand has sleeve and has a cape then down has peplum looking things that are not peplum they look like um what's this thing from um, pinafore it's just it's just a lot going on and no i'm not here for it please auntie you have to change your your design i don't use this person again unless she, she proves to you that she has changed so moving on to the new school celebrities the first person is mercy ak winner of big brother some years back and um, for me mercy looks age appropriate this is what i would expect from mercy basically her designer is vicky james vicky james is very prominent on instagram in terms of designing and she does corset very well I love this look on Mercy, although I feel like the corset would have not been sheer. I don't like the fact that I'm seeing her belly button, but every other thing looks good. The train behind, a little too much with the mesh on top of it, but no matter that she's young, she might as well explore. It doesn't look bad, and um, yeah, I'm not mad at it at all. Next is Miss Beverly Osu. Outfit was designed by Fabric by Fabs. I feel like the details on it the mesh was too much for her petite frame i think that it should have just been a, an off shoulder dress with the 
details on top you guys are already seeing it here that mesh is a little too much in my opinion i love the detailing i love how they designed the corset i love her gilly how they styled it she looks good she's a beautiful girl she 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 carried it well i'm here for it in a way so yeah she looks she looks okay she looks okay the next person is tana adelana tana's look i really loved i love the indian vibes it's giving because this is an indian judge ashwebi i love this two-step thing with the little um rhinestones dangling it looks good although her bag i don't understand where it's coming from it's giving more of yellow than gold should have used a more plain bag because she has a lot going on with the dress i love her simple belly there sandal her makeup looks good she decided not to tie her gilly i love the sleeves i love her look actually i love her look it's not bad it's not bad looking at all the person who designed tana's dress is max tell fashion gallery it's only alex only alex always brings it if you know in your legs you already know that we're not expecting anything less her dress was also designed by vicky james same person that did mercy's dress and i love only alex's dress i love how they brought it this is the extra look that we are known for in nigeria she looks really good i love the corset i love how they tied the the wrapper i love her gilly i love her makeup everything is so beautiful she has got to be one of my favorite wedding guests when it comes to rita dominic's wedding she thought of everything before putting it together she even matched with her nails 10 over 10 for me next is lily affair i have a love-hate relationship with this dress because it's too much why is the wrapper on the floor why does he have a train yet is a wrapper and why we were we are done we left this puffy sh shoulder this terminator type of shoulder <laughs> years ago so i don't know why she's revisiting it. it gave her a boxy look i love how she styled her gilly uh the dress not so much it's okay it's a fashionable dress which was designed by 2207 by t bali is eriata essay eriata essay why are your boobs almost outside why 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 i know about the whole sexy look yes the breast is almost entering your mouth whether because of the corset or something i don't know and why does she have these dangling things around the waist is it a skirt and blouse or is it a dress because it has like a peplum with beads here side peplum then now has those ropes dangling then now has the beads on the sleeves which is beautiful but i feel like the neckline is too low that's just my problem with this look so it's, it's not bad i will not rock it though ariata's dress was designed by ogo okoro o ogo okoro no ogo ogo <laughs> lala akindo drew lala i don't like your dress you don't even look like you like your dress. Why are the sleeves falling? I know that it's trying to give the ruched effect, but the person did not get it. It's too loose to be having that effect. They didn't even do the pleats well. Her choice of shoe, the gele, mm -mm, I don't like it. I expected more from Lala. This also was designed by Ayaba Koto, and Ayaba does a lot of good things. So I really don't know about this one. I'm not feeling it at all. Mm -mm. Nah, -uh. this one is Ihoma Linda Edio for Suleiman. Ihoma just looks like I just came for this. People dragged me out of my bed. There's no design to it, no style. It's just fish, fish, fish leg. What they call that? <laughs> it's not six pieces, it's a fish cut. No, there's one thing they so call this uh, fish tail, fish, <laughs> fish tail dress. Mm -mm. The corset, why is it not starting from under her boobs? Her boobs are now out. She's a beautiful woman. She's a beautiful girl. She does this. It did not do anything for her at all. The gele tried, but the outfit, bam, 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 bam. Later in the reception, self, I saw a video where she had removed the gele. So it was only this dress. I don't know why she removed the only thing that was helping the outfit. It was designed by Purple Lagos and bam. I'm not here for it. <laughs> the last one we'll be talking about before we move over to the men is tubo tubo is the designer that designed the bride's dress obviously i wasn't expecting less from tubo she's a designer now she will give herself the best she looks so beautiful the front the back of this dress everything is 10 over 10 everything is top notch although she looks uncomfortable but that's what 
corset comes with. Like if you're looking to wear corset, you know that your whole back is going to be snatched and your the back fat will be together. You cannot breathe, you cannot sit down, you cannot eat. But all oh, in a fashion, no problem. We are not mad at it. I love how she looks. She looks really nice. I love the hijab vibe she brought with the cap. She looks really amazing. She's bringing it. So she designed her dress obviously and I'm here for it. So we're moving on to the men. Mm. I have a lot to say about the men because they always have a lot to say about us. <laughs> the first person on my list is Swanky Jerry. Please. In short, uh, with Swanky Air, eh? let me even be watching the video because there's a video I put up. Swanky is actually a stylist, so I expected more from him, being that he's young, African, and famous. <laughs> this outfit. If you remove this thing that wants to choke him, that silver neck thing, let go of the skull purse hmm? and also the cowboy boots. Maybe we can salvage this because the outfit on its own, it's not bad. It's actually male appropriate. It's very fashionable. It's very stylish for a man. But the accessories on top of it is just giving me a headache. When I saw it that day, I'm like, what is going on? This is just a disaster. Why do you have to put so much into an outfit? It just swallowed the sophisticated outfit. The outfit on its own is really good. If you had just worn it with the coral beads, it would have been nice with the cap. Or that will not be Swanky Jerry. That will not be him. He has to bring everything. This corpus is what I have a problem. It looks so cheap. It's something that you will see in Ariaria markets, like front row of Ariaria market. The outfit was made by Fi World. To be honest, I'm not mad at the outfit. It's just the accessorizing that's a problem. Bro, you're, you're a stylist. You should do better, please. I beg, watch this video. If you know Swanky Jerry, share it to him. I beg, less is more. Even though less is not more for you, that, don't, don't wear that necklace again. That thing and that Throw away that post, please. That cowboy boot is nice. It can be worn with other outfits, but not this one. You are looking too much. Mm -mm. Too much to hand. The next is Uti. Uti's outfit was designed by Papa's Attire. He looks good. He looks like a Yoruba demon. He looks well put together. I, I, I like his outfit. I'm not mad at it. I'm here for it. I love the Abada. I loved his confidence in it. He was feeling himself, basically. I love the shoe. I love the cap. I love his beards. Everything looked good. He looked really nice. He looked okay. He looked nice. I love the hem of the trouser. Perfect length for him. He was looking okay. Yeah. The next man on my list is Chidi Mokeme. He looked nice as well, but I feel like the hem of the trouser was too long you could see that it was rumply underneath and it was not his length so they should have worked on that it looked kind of local 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 to me <laughs> you should have been taking off a bit and the uh, green shoes please what's going on why should you why should you match with the with the ashebi you don't even match with the ashebi because the green shoes is not like neon or a bit lemon green you should have opted for a black shoe and just looked really nice but what do i know who am I? <laughs> um, yeah, that's just it with Chidi Mokeme. But overall, he looked okay. I love that he was holding his cigar. He's he's such a fine man. He's, he looks nice, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Steve Chooks, fine bobo. He is uh, a social media socialite slash influencer slash skit maker. He looked good for me, hundred percent. For me, he takes he takes the trophy when it comes to the male fashion in this wedding. I loved everything about. His look very clean, well fitted. I love the accessories. The walking stick brought a lot of oomph to the overall outfit. I love that he's wearing a stud earring. I love his shoes. I love the black contrast on the abada. Everything looks good. Steve Chooks, for me, best dressed meal in this wedding. He looks really amazing, I must say. I must comment. <laughs> Steve Chooks did not tell us who sold this outfit, so I cannot give you all that information you know when they say i'm saving the best for the last in this case i saved the worst for the last is Ike. Ike was a bba housemate and he previously had a thing with mercy like he had a reality show too when i first saw him i was like what the atrocious valet looking hell is going on here he looks like those people that would tell you madam pack your car make a happy pack away the valet yeah he looks like them or he looks like even the people that will come and say what will you eat ma there's one picture <laughs> the way he posts just stand in front of you ma please what can i offer you the glasses look like swimming goggles it was so bad <coughs> i feel like it's ek spirit that's making me the comfortable hold on 
it looks really bad. It looks really bad. This is what I know who can do it cheaper looks like in simple terms. Like, I get person will go do a cheaper for you. That is what it looks like because I don't understand what was going on here. Everything was so wrong. He even turned it into a joke on his on his Instagram. He's like, oh, best me, dressed me. I'm like, why are you deceiving yourself? He said he wanted to sell his picture on N NFT to make money. I'm like, guy, the designer Isaac Kings needs to be arrested because why can you? Why will you make something like this for somebody? With the bow tie, everything was just like you guys. Please just take a look. Take a look at this. What what is going on here, please? I don't I don't understand it. It's just so bad. It's just so bad. You guys, we've come to the end of this video and I'm here to give the awards as the fashion police. Look at my imaginary awards here. For best dressed female, I will give it to Oni Alex. Yeah! It looks really, really good. Best dressed male, obviously Steve Chooks. Yeah! Worst dressed female queen. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> was dressed male, obviously, without a doubt, no contesting. Ike was dressed overall. Our brother as well. Ike, please don't do this to us again. The next big wedding that is coming up. So your collect the Ashebi before time, so you can make up for this this stress you have put on top of our head. Okay. <laughs> guys without being biased about your best um actress actor or celebrity let me know your favorite or your worst in the comment section do you agree with my awards let me know as well if you don't agree let me know too i'm here for it it's just all jokes i'm just here giving my two cents on the looks on the wedding day i wish rita dominic and her husband the best marriage there is i wish them all the happiness and love in the world may their union be blessed and yeah we can't wait to see the babies because i know that they will come soon by the grace of god in the name of jesus you guys thank you all so much for watching subscribe oh, if you haven't subscribed up until now leave a comment give the video a thumbs up share it as well and uh, i'll be sure to see you in my next one bye y'all i got this picture in my closet it's gathering dust right